Food traceability is a very important aspect of food production. It is one of the main ways producers can ensure the safety and quality of their products. It can also provide information to consumers concerning the ethical and environmental aspects of a certain food production. Currently, there are many different systems available for food traceability. One of the newer ones is the blockchain technology, which was invented in 2008 for use in the cryptocurrency Bitcoin. In this video, I seek to answer the question, is the blockchain technology suitable for food traceability systems? Let's start with the question, what is food traceability and why is it so important? Food traceability is the ability to track any food through all stages of production, processing and distribution, including importation and at retail. Traceability should mean the movements can be traced one step backwards and one step forward at any point in the supply chain. It is very important to be able to track food products in case there is a risk of, for example, disease outbreaks or pollutants in the products. Most people remember the devastating outbreak of mad cow disease in 1993. Food traceability is also important as a data gathering system throughout the supply chain that can give consumers information on where the food originates and how it is produced. In recent years, consumers have generally become more aware of ethical and environmental aspects of food production and consumption. Food traceability systems can help consumers make decisions based on correct and accurate information concerning the origins and environmental impacts of food products. To give an example, let's view this graph of environmental impacts here, collected as CO2 equivalents of different food products. We can see that on average, vegetable production produces about 60 times less CO2 equivalents than beef production. By making consumers more aware of these impacts, we can potentially shape their food choices to a more eco-friendly lifestyle. But what is the best way to provide consumers with correct and accurate information on food products? There are many food traceability systems available for companies such as food producers, distributors and retailers. For a food traceability system to function throughout the supply chain, the data collected by each contributor within the supply chain must adhere to some standards. GS1 is a not-for-profit organization that develops and maintains global standards for business communication. The best known of these standards is the barcode, a symbol printed on products that can be scanned electronically. One of the most internationally recognized standards is EPSIS. It allows business partners to share information concerning the status of a product within its supply chain. It is one of the best ways to provide the so-called 4W information. What is the product? Where does it come from and where is it going? Why relates to the business process? For example, are we sending or receiving the product? And finally, when tells us the date and time of the business process. This information is very important for food traceability. Many companies use food traceability systems based on RFID technology, which provides means to gather product information wirelessly and over substantial distances as compared to, for example, NFC-based systems. On the other hand, NFC-based systems allow for close-range communication between devices. This technology can be found in most tablets and smartphones. One of the newer technologies is the blockchain. Its main function is to allow companies and individuals to engage in business without the need of a trusted authority or a central server. A blockchain is typically managed by a peer-to-peer -peer network collectively adhering to a protocol for internode communication and validating new blocks. Once recorded, the data in any given block of the blockchain cannot be altered retroactively without the alteration of all subsequent blocks, which requires collusion of the network majority. This ensures the safety and accuracy of data within the blockchain. 
One of the main problems with modern supply chains is the trace of paperwork necessary for business processes. For example, you need on average around 30 individual signatures for a product to be shipped from East Africa to Europe. Paperwork can add up to 15 to 50% of the total cost of shipping. Traceability systems based on the blockchain technology could digitize the paperwork and thereby reduce costs. Food traceability systems based on blockchain have already been implemented to some degree by Walmart in cooperation with IBM to trace pork from producers to retailers in China. It was also used to trace food products from producers in South America to retailers in the United States. This system provides information on the origin of the farm, batch number of the production, where and how the product is processed, expiry dates and shipping. By using this system, Walmart can accurately trace food products throughout the entire supply chain. In case there is a problem with a product, tracing the origins of the problem can be done in a matter of seconds. This system can also be used to reduce food waste by customizing the distribution of products based on expiry dates. The main difference between the blockchain systems and others is that the decentralized blockchain systems have the possibility of efficiently gathering and storing all kinds of information on food products throughout the supply chain. Most current traceability systems tend to focus on the legal requirement of being able to trace products one step backwards and one step forward without giving a clear overview of the product's path throughout the entire supply chain. So to answer the first question, is the blockchain technology suitable for food traceability systems? We can say that based on current research, the blockchain technology certainly has great potential to reduce costs and increase traceability within supply chains. Personally, I look forward to seeing to what extent and how the blockchain technology will be implemented in food traceability systems.